go ahead and place your legs in tabletop. So just stack your legs, your knees, and your ankles and your feet, and let's scoop that belly. We're gonna go ahead and lift that top leg up and lower it down. Engage your muscles in your legs. So tighten up your legs right here and then your outer thighs. And breathe, remember that, breathe deep from your diaphragm. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Tell yourself that, we are more than conquerors. Yes, we are. As we lift the legs and strengthen this body and just give God all the glory and all the praise for what he's doing. It's real important to have really strong legs. We need them um, to do what God has called us to do every single day. So it's important to strengthen them, to strengthen your hip flexors and your glutes and all those major muscles in the body. Let's do that one more time. Nice job. Go ahead and fully extend your legs out. If you need to modify, just go ahead and bend that bottom leg. If not, keep the legs out. Bend that one leg. You're just basically kicking up and lowering back down. So kick up and lower. So you should be feeling this right there in that inner thigh. Strengthen our feeble arms, Lord, and our weak knees. You know, so many times my knees feel weak and I ask God to strengthen them. My legs feel weak sometimes. I just get up and I just don't have it. But God has it for us, right? He will strengthen you even when you don't feel good. Just place your mindset on Him and say, Lord, I don't have it today, but you do. And He will help you regardless of your circumstance or situation. Keep going. I know you're doing great out there. Let's do that one more time. Lift. Nice work. Bring the leg back out there. Now on this one, we're gonna simply lift the leg up and lower it down. Again, the modification, bend that bottom leg, okay? If you wanna progress, just keep your legs out. Lift the leg and lower. Don't worry about how high the leg lifts. Just lift it where you can. And let's focus on this next verse. It makes me happy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. God, you are my strength. You're the one that brings me joy. You're the one that strengthens my body, my emotions, and you help me every single day, especially as I'm lifting this leg because these are challenging. Keep it going, just lift and lower. And so that deep breathing, remember that, that exhale and that inhale that goes with it, keeping the belly scooped. That's a lot to remember, but you can do it. One more time, nice work. All right, now on this one, stay lengthened out there, but if you need to modify, bend that bottom leg. We're gonna take the top leg up, and these are just little leg pulses. You can flex the foot, you can point the toes, just focus in on this inner thigh and outer thigh area, front of your leg, back of the leg, even your feet, your ankles and your calves. When I am afraid, I will trust you. In God I trust. I will not be afraid. I refuse to be afraid, right? And when I start to go in that direction, I have to remind myself, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm just not going to do it. It's a mindset. Like I have to tell myself, nope, God's with me. There is no fear and he's going to help me with everything. You're doing great. So we're doing these leg pulses to strengthen those legs. You're engaging your core. Let's do that one more time. Nice work. Now we're going to transition, so bend the knees, extend your legs out from the hips. If that's too much, I need you to bend that bottom leg. Now these are challenging, okay? We're gonna lift and lower. This is a double leg lift. And if you need to lie all the way down, I need you to lie all the way down, okay? So you can come all the way down here. Good. I will praise the Lord at all times. So, wherever you're at, right now in your home, uh, maybe you're at work, praise God. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing in my life. Thank you, Father, for the people you have placed in my life for your purposes, Lord. And Lord, show me your way. Show me, Father, your will, your desires. Father, not mine. My desires are lacking. They don't have the big vision like you do, Father. So show me your way. One more. 
Nice. Let's transition again. Bring the knees back to the front. Now I need you to extend out that top leg. This is a leg kick to the front. Belly is in, you're going to kick to the front, pulse for two, and then bring that leg back and pulse for two. Let's do that again. So it's a kick, kick, and then a kick back. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. So as we delight ourselves in the Lord, you know, a lot of times He changes those desires. He reworks them. He um, transfers them into His likeness and His design. So the idea is there that He's given you. But just ask Him for the complete master plan and step by step, He will unfold it. I promise you that He will. One more and bring it back. Nice. Now this is an inner thigh lift, so you can either take that top leg, place it front, or bring it back here, whichever's comfortable for you. With the belly in, that's real important, lift and lower that leg, just lift and lower. So we're working the inner thighs here, so you can flex, or you can point the toes, and here's a verse to go along with this, come close to God, and He will come so close to you. So as you draw close to Him, as you pray, as you listen for Him to speak to your heart, as you surround yourself with people who love Him, and your discussion is all about Jesus, you're drawing close to Him, and you're pointing others towards Him, and He draws so close to you. Keep the inner thigh lifts going, you're doing great. Just a few more of these. Let's do two more. Last one, nice job. Okay, now you're on the opposite side, so we're working the other leg. Make sure the belly's scooped in. We're in that tabletop position again, where the legs are stacked. We're just gonna lift and lower. Remember to engage your muscles in your legs, so kind of make a muscle right there in your top of your leg and the outside of the leg. We're working the outer thighs and the front of the leg, the backside, all through this leg and the hips and the glutes. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He does. He delights in every detail of your life. He directs your steps as you delight in Him and as you go to Him. God always shows you the way. I know I keep saying that, but it's so true. You just need to understand that God is with you. He loves you and He cares about you every single detail, even when you're doing a leg lift. Go ahead and extend your legs out. Reach them out as far as you can. Remember to modify, you can bend this bottom leg or progression, go ahead and keep it out. You're going to bend the top leg and kick it up and then bring it right back down. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I mean, there's so many scripture verses that talk about God directing us, God showing us the way. And so he will just go to him. Keep moving and breathing, extending and reaching. And I just need you to do what's best for you today. If you need to stop and rest, that's fine. And then go back to it. This exhaling and inhaling. Oh my gosh, I can really feel this in my inner thighs and all throughout my legs. As the belly scoop, that's real important. One more of these. Nice work. Fully extend your legs out. Now remember, you can modify and bend that bottom leg or progress and keep the legs out. Go ahead, lift the leg up and lower it down. Let's do that again. Lift and lower. You just go where you need to go with this. Don't worry about the height of the leg. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is so good. His love endures forever. Praising God, thanking Him, even when you don't feel like it. When we get our minds off ourself, when we get our eyes off ourself and onto the Lord, He takes us over. There's days where I just need the Lord to take me over all day long, completely. And I want Him to do that every single day. But you know what I'm talking about. Some days are a little bit more challenging than others. And we really need the strength of the Lord during those days. One more, 
Nice work. Now, the next exercise again, you can bend the bottom leg to modify or keep it out. Simply lift the top leg and pulse up. All right, so in this one, I'm really feeling this in the outer thighs. With the belly engaged, it's contracted, navel to the spine. See, the core supports what this leg is doing. That's why it's so important to keep that core tight. It also protects that back. Remember this scripture verse? When I am afraid, I will trust you. When I'm afraid, I will trust you. I think fear tries to take us over so many different times. And just recognize it for what it is. God does not bring fear upon us. So just go to him and say, Lord, honestly, I'm afraid right now. I'm fearful and I need you. I need your strength. One more of these, lower back down. Let's transition from the legs out to the hips, okay? So just bring them on out there. You're gonna lift and lower. You can modify and just lift that top leg, but this double leg lift is definitely challenging. There's a verse that talks about every good gift is from God. Every single thing that's good is from God. So just recognize that. Every good gift is from God. Your families, right? Even the job that you have because it's providing for you, that's a gift from God. Lift and lower those legs. Oh my gosh, I can really feel this also through that waist. I can feel it pulling through the obliques, strengthening that area and strengthening my legs, my core. One more, nice. Go ahead, bend the legs again. Extend the legs out to the side, bend that bottom leg. You're gonna take that top leg, kick to the front, and then bring it back. Nice control. Here's where your abdominals are real important. So the abdominals will help keep you in position so you're not rocking around. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Again, we need to remind ourselves about God's desires and we have our own desires and I know I do and so many times I'm like Lord I want it to be like this but you know what he's got different desires for me better desires so he'll change things up I may not like it at the time but when it finally comes to pass I'm like Lord you're so good that was so right keep it going one more and last one all right, this next exercise is an inner thigh lift. You can either bring the top leg to the front to modify or bring it back. Lift and lower that bottom leg. Again, we're working the inner thighs right here. So I need you to lengthen, elongate that leg and make a muscle in your leg as you lift and draw close to God. Even through these inner thigh lifts, draw close to Him and He will draw close to you. Keep moving and breathing. You're doing great. I know you are. I know you're doing these with me. We're getting strong together. We're encouraging one another, right? Keep it going. If you need to rest, that's fine. Take a rest break. But we've only got a few more repetitions together. Come on, you can do this. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Let's do that one more time. Nice work. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.